Hello gamers, I am Mike the Zorch, and today is a special episode of Inspiring Indies. I'm going to start covering a series of VR games in this series, and I'm starting with a little game from CM Games called Into the Radius. Now, Into the Radius is... Pretty much a clone of Stalker. If you know the Stalker series at all, it is based around the events of Chernobyl, where in the Stalker franchise, the area in and around Chernobyl has all sorts of weird spatial anomalies and everything from the disaster there. And stalkers are special agents that go in and find artifacts that have unique abilities and powers and they bring them back for money and there are other stalkers out there some of them are your friends some of them are not there are bandits and and wolves and, and, and dangerous animals and mutants and everything and stalker is itself based on a soviet era novel called roadside picnic and Roadside Picnic is about uh, aliens who come to Earth and just hang out for a little while, leave a bunch of trash behind, and leave. And where they, where they came down, they, the governments created these exclusion zones because the stuff that they left behind, which is garbage to them, it actually has weird properties and stuff and uh, technological it's it's advanced technological stuff that could advance us thousands of years to them it was just trash and stalkers went out and collected this stuff and brought it back for collectors or brought it back for the government and made a ton of money and so that's what stalker was based on but they used the setting of the chernobyl exclusion zone and around the area around pripyat for that this is similar, except it's not around Chernobyl. Uh, it's around a mining town, old Soviet mining town, and a weird spatial anomaly event took place. And you're about to see. And you, are, we are an agent. We're not called a stalker. We're called an agent. And we're one of the changed. Basically, we can't leave the radius. This, this whole region around here, we're space has gone completely crazy we can't leave this area and if we do we start getting sick really badly sick so i'm going to take one of the missions let's see uh sample courier number three okay let's take this one it shouldn't be too difficult Okay, purpose of the next task shouldn't bother you. We are assigning you an urgent mission to retrieve the container lost in this area. Deliver it to the facility. Okay. Alright, so we got a mission. And it's on our map. Uh, okay, the tide is in four days. Okay, what the tide is. You know the blood moon from Breath of the Wild? Every time it comes out, everything resets. All the camps that you had wiped out, all the enemies you, you, you had killed, all reset. That basically happens in this game. So in four days, four days, 12 hours, and 13 minutes, actually no, 19 minutes, the tide is going to hit. And when you're out there and the tide hits, it randomly puts you in a different spot in the, ga in the game world. It will lift you up and put you in a different spot in the game world. So I've got some time before that happens. And when it starts getting close, an alarm will go off and you hit this button and it makes it stop. And this is the map. That's a global map. This. This is just a small area. There's a much larger zone past here. Missions. So this is what my missions are. In journal, this is stuff that I've done in the past. And and things I've run into. 
things I can look at, information that I can look up, and enemy types that I can see. Now you'll you'll probably see an enemy type or two once we get out there. Okay, here's my backpack. I've got an extra gun. Uh, I've got me move. Oh. Got this one. I found this one and I repaired it. So I've got that. I've got this, my shotgun. So uh, I can take down pretty much some really good stuff. Now these, um, I'm not entirely certain what these are. I know these are shells. The blue ones, I'm not entirely certain. I think the blue ones are... Oh, <coughs> I think the blue ones might be armor piercing. They might be slugs. I know there's also subsonic ammo. There is a, such a thing as subsonic ammo in uh, the military. Basically, it's bullets that don't make a loud noise. And, oh, I should have sold this. Oh, well, I can use it as a extra light in case I need it. Cool. See, I've got some food. I've got some meal bars. I've got an energy drink. Uh, I've got my knife. Uh, extra sidearm. Extra um, ammo for that. I've got a hand grenade. Uh, I've got an extra um, probe. These are basically empty shells. They're supposed to have a, um, a little cloth thing on them yeah there it goes and you throw those to see if you can find um any weird anomalies or whatever that you don't want to run into and then, then there's monocular for seeing a far distance so i can tell if there's an enemy right here uh the blue is my stamina and the red is my health and there's some other status information on here about my uh but other information here including the time my backpack uh i've got a flare or two actually i got a couple of flares in here that i can carry with me got some ammo boxes so i can reload while i am out in the field got some health in case i need it uh, i've got a tin of uh food I can eat. I got a hand grenade uh, in case I need to take out a large number of enemies. Got one there. So I am all set to head out and go get this stuff. And oh, and I got this. This is a uh, thing to help detect uh, artifacts and stuff that I need to collect. This probably won't help me with that. Uh, it just is for unique stuff. All right, let's go. And I am using the um, Vive Index controllers. So these are the finger tracking controllers. All right, then. Let's head out into the radius. Okay, there's that thing way out there. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what's under it. I haven't been able. I haven't been able to get over there. I know you can get close to it. There's this wall of mist surrounding the entire world you walk into it you'll get respawned back over here that's a, a place where some uh, gear was at I was able to pick up some stuff I don't know if it responds or anything let's check our map 
see where we... Oh, we're not far away. In fact, it's right up there. Okay. Oh, there were some enemies there. Alright, so we're not far from it. Not far from it at all. We're very close. Alright, let's go get some stuff. I also fit this on to the end of the pistol. This is for suppressors. I don't have the um, security clearance yet to use suppressors. Once I've done enough missions, I'll have the security clearance enough to be able to use suppressors. Okay, that's, this is where we want to go up there. There are some enemies up there. So we'll have to be careful. There he is. Okay, your kind is wandering around. Uh, took a little bit of damage. This gun does a lot more, does a, does a little more damage than the one I was carrying. Alright. Okay, the enemies that I had killed before are not here. This is where I went for my very first mission. And looks like they're gone. Cool. Okay, that's what I thought. I don't use this. Okay, I am... Being very cagey. There's these things all over the place. I think these used to be people. And they've been turned to this solid ash stuff. Sometimes when you destroy them like that, they'll say things. Alright. Uh, okay, that one is... Not one I can look through don't see anything don't see any let's see uh day 40 we settled on a hill next to the railroad looks like they were oh hold on i got to Okay, uh, day 40, we settled on a hill next to the railroad, like there was a, look, uh, looks like there was a substation or something before, cleared the area from uh, monsters, glad we had those NATO guns after all. Uh, day 45, a couple more people joined us, their memory is fucked too, of course. Okay. Alrighty then. So, uh, let's see. It's somewhere over there. Okay, now we have to get over there.
Okay. Hmm. Stop jumping on me. Oh, two of you. of you can quit now. There. Ah, uh, I took some damage. All right. All right, let's get back up up there. Okay. Ah, that must be it. Okay. Yep, that was it. That was the item we were coming for. Let's head back. What was that? You hear all sorts of noises out here and you don't know if it's a monster that's about to attack you or, or what. Let's check out that tower before we uh, head back and... Retrieve our reward. See if there's any more loot up here. Oh. Climb. Oh. Be sure not to fall, because I will die. Oh, yep, like that. Step back. Yep, this is very different. You're the one physically climbing. It takes a little getting used to. Whoa! Oh! Well, let's forget it. <laughs> oh.
Okay, now we're going to turn in our mission objective. I took a little bit of damage. Okay, healed up. And, well, oh, and deliver. Oh, thank you. All right, just got paid. All right, that is Into the Radius, a indie VR game that is a lot like Stalker. It's actually very fun. It can be a little challenging, can be a little creepy, scary. You're out and about, you know, in dark places. Hmm. There's another place for another agent like me. But they don't have other agents like me around here right now. But that is that is the game. Now, this is available on Steam. It's in early access right now. So they are still working on it. Uh, and it's a fun game. It's very atmospheric. It can be extremely creepy at times when you're out there in the dark where I was when you're being attacked by enemies and you have to do everything. You have to reload by hand and everything just like I just did. You have to be careful because if you, uh, you lose your grip, you actually lose your gun. So you got to be careful. And your cartridges actually attach to you. You actually carry stuff on your on your person. I mean, it's an interesting VR game. Very interesting. Is it perfect? No, it's it's got it's got a little bit of little interest uh, eccentric. <laughs> it's got some weird stuff to it uh, that may get ironed out over time again this is a fairly new game came out just last year it is an indie title and it is in early access so this game is still evolving still improving so if you got uh if you got vr and you want to try out a uh a, a game that is like stalker but is not quite as punishing as stalker you can adjust some of the difficulty to make enemies not quite as deadly, you can adjust some of that. You can make it so that your your stamina doesn't go out as fast, and and you can make the tides come sooner or make them slower, depending on your preferences. You can tune the game for your preferences and how you want to play. So this is into the radius. If you like it, check it out. I've been Mike the Zorch. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing to Zorch Central and click that bell icon for future notifications of videos. I will be covering other indie VR games in the very new future, so look forward to that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.